All right, YouTube, back here with another YouTube video. We are playing Grixis Death Shadow again, and we're trying out the Aspiring Spike version of Dress Down. Now, I am super excited to try this out. I've, I've seen a lot of people ask me about it, and I can't really give an opinion on it until I try it, and I know some people are mixed about it. Some people really enjoy it. Some people really don't like it. Um, I specifically am not interested in the interaction of, like, making Shadow into a 12-12. I don't think that's, like, the true power of the deck. I think the, like, the more, like, powerful and, like, intriguing interaction here is Dress Down and Croxa. So, if you don't know, Croxa has the Into the Battlefield effect of sacrificing it and then, like, has the, whatever the effect is anyway. Your opponent discards a card. If it's a land, they lose three. If not, they just discard a card. Um... Specifically, the nice thing about this is if you play Dress Down before, you don't sacrifice Croxa. And just having a two mana 6-6 six, six is not bad. It's not amazing. But just having Croxa's ability on the on the battlefield is super interesting. Um, you get pretty much to cheat in one of the best cards in Modern, I'd say. One of the best two drops. Not going to say it's the best two drop, but one of the better two drops. Um, which is not really a two drop, but it's, it's a late game engine and you allow to, allows you to cheat it in. And I'm super interested in trying that out specifically. Um, other like smaller, like cool things about it is really helps you with the DRC, turning the delirium online, gives you like another archetype or another subtype, uh, like an enchantment in the deck, which is super awesome. Now you're not really only looking for baubles, but also dress downs, uh, also really helps out the elementals matchup which is probably the hardest matchup i'd say right now and it's one of the more popular decks going around um dress down just like prevents solitude which is the biggest issue for this deck now it's not as huge because you're not playing scourge of the skyclaves but still a pretty hard matchup i'd say um anything making you gain life and like completely blanking your shadows is pretty pretty impressive um main deck pretty much stock i, I feel like a lot of I mean, there's no pushes, which I think is interesting, and there's only two Unholy Heats, which I'm not a huge fan of, um, but the sideboard overcompensates for that fact. Like, you have one Unholy Heat, two Terminates, uh, another Drown, and, like, Dress Down's pseudo-removal spell for for certain decks. Um, uh, the sideboard, the only thing I'm not huge on is, like, I'm not huge about the Unearth or the Soul Guide Lanterns. I'm more interested in EE and Nile Spellbomb. I've never been a fan of Soul Guide Lantern. I'm not specifically sure. Like, if you don't care about losing out on value, then I just uh, like it's not like Leyline of Sanctity is going around or anything. Like, I just don't get the the whole the whole point of Soul Guide Lantern. Like, it, it pretty much has the same effect as Nile Spell Bomb, except you can't exile the band then and draw a card, whereas Nile Spell Bomb can do that. So you're losing out on a card draw sometimes but like you can always get that effect if you want on Nile Spellbomb so that's something I'm a little like weirded out about like I, I understand if someone's specifically worried about Leyline of Sanctity but I'm not so um I'm a little interested that like in that and I think I might add another EE I really do like Engineer Explosives right now it's such a good card um other than that Fluster Storm meh I could take it or leave it not huge on it but I, I understand like it's a fine one mana counter spell sometimes uh, probably better than Stubborn Denial right now. And then, I mean, other than that, I like the Dress Down in the sideboard as well. Another, like, card that I could see you wanting more of or less of, so. But anyways, I'm super excited to try this out. But if you're watching, I would love it if you would like, comment, subscribe. Especially since we're at 75 subscribers right now. Let's get up to 100. That'd be awesome. Um, but anyways, we're going to get into the first match. And I uh, hope you all enjoy. All right. I think we are getting into the first match that we are. We're not on the play, which, you know, I feel like we're used to as Shadow for some reason. Like, I don't think I normally have these issues typically, but I think just like just as Shadow, I have a hard time. Um, hands reasonable. Like, we're up against another Lurus deck, and Croxa seems to be like one of the better cards in these types of matchups. Um, definitely nice to have it. Uh, and then, like, we just have, like, some removal spells, some threats. Like, I think this is a fine keep. Something I'm, like, somewhat interested in trying is main decking some number of uh, Cling to Dust these days. Because I just feel like that card's so good right now. There are so many decks, like, relying on the graveyard. And the fact that it just, like, at the worst is typically a cantrip. 
if you're getting rest in peace main board like that that's happened before but it's not typical like i mean oh <sighs> okay uh just in case this is mill and they kept like a like a quad archive trap hand i'm gonna thought these here Okay, so they did keep an archive trap hand. Um, I mean, I guess we just take the trap. Don't think we care about anything else, so. Like, if, if they only had one Visions, I might take that, but it being redundant and just another piece, I don't think I care. We might just fire it off, though. Yeah. <laughs> So, yes, I think we're gonna fire off a, with uh, fire off a polluted delta here. Just like, it gives them the least amount of draws to a, um, to another archive trap. So I kind of just want to get, and I also need to get the shadow online somewhat reasonably. So let's just hope that uh, that works. Hopefully no archive trap. And I'm like, honestly, archive traps not even like that bad, just fuels our crocs out here. But let's see what they discard. Probably this Thoughtseize. I mean, it seems uncastable in their hand currently. I couldn't imagine not firing off a of Thoughtseize, but you never know. Yeah, Thoughtseize hits the bin. Well, you, you, you really don't ever know. Sometimes, like, sometimes people keep very strange hands, so you never know. Like, if they had this Dark Slick Shores, like, maybe that's a reason to keep it. Another Vision. So they're, they're, they're firing them off pretty aggressively, which I like. I mean, I'm definitely excited that they're doing that. I mean, I wouldn't be, like, sad if they did that, but... Jace Viren's Prodigy. Interesting build. Definitely intrigued. Uh, I'm just going to get a Blood Crypt again. Play our Shadow out. Hold up this Unholy Heat. We'll get a good Tempo Swing if they tap out for this Jace. Um... I think we're in a pretty good spot. Next turn, we get to escape Croxa. So, oh, how's it going, Corey? Ooh, so I think we might have mistapped. No, tapping the Blood Crypt's probably not incorrect. Like, you have to, to reason that, uh-oh, uh more than likely, like, we have draws to, like, blue-black spells as, like, Drown the Lock. We have, we have some reasons to want to keep up this blue mana. I don't think necessarily bolting them on the end step would be even worth it. Although it probably would because of Croxa specifically. How'd it go? It went 2-3. I can do, honestly, I can run back another league after this one with it. Um, although, I'm not 100% sure. The deck felt, I don't think we missed Tarmogoy. If we just kind of had some bad variants... Uh oh, whoopsies, turn off all yields. It was it was like it was definitely an interesting league with the deck. Um I'm not sure like what went wrong, but it felt like there was something wrong with the deck. I'm not hundred percent sure like what, but something felt off with the deck, and I don't really know how to describe it. But anyways, Crocs are already looking pretty decent here. Like, I, as I said before, I'm not huge on, like, casting both halves of Croxa, but against Mill specifically, Croxa's quite good. They got rid of a Fractured Sanity. Interesting. And we also are, like, kind of presenting lethal next turn. Like, not actually, but I guess actually we are with a Polluted Delta. We could Fetch Shock. This is 8, 14 exactly. Like, we don't even need the Bolt. Damnation. Wowzers. Did not expect that one. Not gonna lie. Ooh, Ragaman was a good top deck. That was a good one. God love Ragaman. Such a good card. Okay, let's see what we hit. Uh, I did not. And I honestly thought that Necromantia was gonna be quite good. I think Necromantia is actually quite like a fine card right now um but it didn't come in so maybe that maybe that's a card to cut by Luris here i think this is like the obvious play it's interesting what our opponent's playing it seems like um so 
Specifically, I want Necromentia over Surgical because of the fact that we have Mana Dorks. I think the card's, like, better. And if you're looking for Graveyard Hate, I don't think Graveyard's necessarily an issue with that Rock deck. We beat Dredge pretty handedly with our deck. Um, so I'm not necessarily worried about that, if that makes sense. Wow. Their deck is super interesting. Well, I don't know interesting, but different. Just say that. Their, their deck is definitely different. Um, I don't know why we are playing Ceremonious Rejection in the main deck. That is, that is quite weird. Um, or should we worry, be worried about another Damnation? Probably. Let's not extend here. Yeah, we can, we can just play a Saragavan, right? And just hit him. Can definitely extend here. But I do think I do think Necromancy is all right, and like another thing I'm worried about is Tron right now, and that's like kind of my Tron hate while also being like Rhino hate while also being um uh what what else am I talking about Titan hates and like other like combo deck hate. I think it's specifically better than like a land destruction spell or a surgical because it's hard to get a card into the graveyard as the rock. Like, you can't get lands in the graveyard if you're specifically worried about mill. Or not mill. That's, I'm getting milled. Um, about Tron. So, I'm not sure. Alright, so we'll take this one down. All they have is a ceremonious rejection. Um, so, yeah. We'll just kill them here. Unless I'm missing something. I don't believe I am. No. Okay, they just conceded. Sweet. Sweet. So they're definitely on like a more controlling deck. So I have a feeling these fluster storms are gonna be very good. Um probably the drown and probably the dress down. Maybe unearth. I think these are well unearth seems insane against Mill. Um uh, I guess we kinda want some removal spells. I'm not necessarily certain. I'm a little bit concerned specifically what their deck is. Um I like to add cards to my deck more often than not, but with us being on 18 lands, it's kind of sketchy to just, like, shove in a bunch of cards. Um, that game, we obviously didn't have mana problems, but I have a feeling that's going to come up more often than not. So, what are we concerned about keeping here? I'm not certain. Like, Thoughtseize seems pretty good against the Damnation Cryptic Command deck. Maybe Dress Down's not particularly great. Like, Crox is already just going to be insane in this matchup, so I don't think we need Dress Down. Like, Crox just being milled is quite good. Maybe a Heat's fine. I think this is fine. Like, we'll, we'll, bring in 60, we'll bring in two extra cards. I don't know. Dress Down doesn't seem that great, though, in this matchup. Like, it's not turning off anything, like, impactful other than their crabs, but, like... We have removal spells for the crabs. We just like, mainly we just kind of want this unearth. That's like by far our best sideboard card, I believe. Um, and Flusterstorm. I think those two are just like quite good. But I think we would be pretty favored against this deck, I assume. Like, any Croxa deck versus the Mill deck is pretty decent. All right. Not going first. So, this hand could easily lose to specifically the O3 crab, but I think that's fine. Again, we kind of don't like want to have mana issues, so I'm fine keeping those hands. Let's just also not get archive trapped too hard. What land do we want to keep? I'm not sure. This is something that takes some time and getting used to a deck, uh, figuring out which fetch lands and which shock lands to get. So it typically takes me a second, because like if I jump around with shadow variants, um, like you, you'll learn which fetch lands are best quite quick. And I have a feeling any blue fetch is probably the best. Um, I'm not certain though. Maybe, no, I think Polluted Delta is probably worse than uh, Bloodstain Mire, considering our two basics are Swamp and Mountain. Um, let's get a Steam Vents here. Play our Ragavan. 
Let's not get archive trapped, please. Seems like they have at least one. Okay. Didn't hit anything like important. Well, I wouldn't say not important, but nothing like um, good. Like we didn't hit a Croxa here, which would have been like perfect. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is fine. Like nothing, again, nothing crazy. We do have delirium, which is kind of important. Or at least I'd assume one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five types. So at least that's something. It turns on our unholy heat for the O3 crab. That's something we're specifically worried about, which it is something we are worried about. Million 13, uh-oh, the pain costs. Okay, it seems like they have a surgical, which like whatever. Probably hitting drown. Oh, it's Flusterstorm. Okay, we only have two, so. I'm honestly quite cool with that. Um, they should probably leave this in the graveyard. They do. Especially, like, if they notice we don't have any snaps, there's no real reason to hit it out of our graveyard. Unless it could turn off Delirium, but they, they can't really do that. Okay, they just passed, so it's quite cool. Quite cool with me. I think we're just gonna express a iteration here after we swing. If if this does connect, that's what we'll do. I mean, barring we don't like hit a Jace VP off of them. A drown? Okay. Red, blue. Hit this expressive up. Um let's see, what do we want here? We definitely don't want the bolt. Probably want the shadow here, which is like fine. We'll get this watery grave and shock it into play. Next turn we get to go double shadow, which is not bad. As long as we fetch shock here. As long as we fetch shock. Okay. A dark slick shore is not like the best draw, or not the best card for us, but would have been nice if they kept missing land drops for sure. Let's see. Should probably fire off a removal spell now, considering they saw our deck. But you never know. You never know. DRC, that's pretty good. Allows us to triple spell here, which is like kind of huge. And it's just a one mana 3-3 three, three with flying. So feel like we're looking pretty decent. If they have a way to like throw something in front of this, we will definitely unholy heat it. I mean, assuming they're not playing Snapcaster Mages or something like that, but you never know. Like they, they're definitely more of a controlling mill deck. A fatal push. Okay. That's not the best. Not the best at all. So how badly do we want to get blown out by a EE -E for one is the real question. Because if we shove here, we can get absolutely pooped on. Um, but like the problem here is I feel like if we're playing one shadow, we might as well as play the second because I don't think there's any play like quote unquote playing around a EE. -E. It's gonna be backbreaking regardless. So I think you have to make the decision here. I guess they technically missed a land drop last turn. So I'm going to side on the side of playing Shadow here, strictly because they missed a Shadow, or missed a Land Drop. So like I'm not terribly worried that they will have EE -E and Land, because I feel like they would have played an EE -E on one, like, seeing our hand. So like I, I just don't think they have an Engineered Explosives, and if they did, I feel like they would have ran it out last turn. And we don't really have like that fear of getting... Um, EE -E for one and then instantly popping it because they are short on land. Or at least it seemed like they were because they have missed a land drop. Now, if that is their hand, well, shoot. Like, I played to, to what I thought they had. So, like, it happens sometimes. You you lose those games sometimes. We did mill a Croxa. So, we get to fetch shock. That's eight. Eleven were one off. Well... That's pretty good. If they have a surgical, they are dead. So they can't surgical us here. Well, let's just make sure. So let me let me check my list to make sure we have a fetch shock left. So we have two watery graves, which you have one on the battlefield and one in the bin. We have two steam vents, which one, two. 
and two blood crypts, one, two. And no other fetch lands. So we are out of fetch shockable, so we might as well just shock here. Um, okay, we'll attack, see what's up. See what's up. I feel kind of safe with the Drown and Lock in our hands. Um, feel kind of safe. Is there any reason to run out this Croxa? Probably. A Visions from Beyond, or of Beyond. <sighs> Do I even want to cast that? Like, what are we digging for? One, two. It would be another Drown and Lock. It would be a discard spell. I almost don't even feel like that's better than Croxa here, surprisingly. This might be a mistake, but I actually don't think it's better than Croxa. This definitely could be a mistake, but... Could be making a mistake here. I just don't know what, like, we're, like, we're looking for a discard spell, but if we whiff, it's just, like, not that impressive, right? And, like, this counter spell is saved for something that's either, like, damnation... Oh, okay, or they just have all lands in it. Wait, what? Okay, so they... Okay, well, we won this match. Um, They missed a land drop. So I'm just... Okay, our opponent must have just been like, I don't know. Game one, they forgot to play one of their lands. This game, they must have forgot to play one of their lands because they had two lands in hand. Um, I don't know, that's just... That's... Okay. Um, Interesting. All right, we're on to match two. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused what just happened. Ooh, hey, hey. I'm I'm just okay, we're on the play, which is awesome. That's very awesome. Let's see if our hand is keepable. Seems keepable. <laughs> like I don't think you can say no to two one drops and removal spell. We don't have blue mana, but I don't think that's necessarily a problem. We kinda have blue mana, right? I guess we should shock here. Eh, maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm not shock. All right, Ragavan, do your dirty business. Go in there and do some monkey business, man. Or not, man. Oops. Do it. Okay, we're up against. We're up against something. I was gonna say Tron, but I don't know know if this is necessarily Tron. Um. What is Chalice? I guess Chalice on zero is probably not horrible, but we should... Exp okay, so we have some real questions we got to ask ourselves here. Is it better the DRC first or after this expressive iteration? I think it's better after, but... Okay. Uh, I have a feeling that Unholy Heat is not going to be the best card here. So, we already have one as well, so I'm not terribly concerned about this. Um, Steam Vents, I guess. Or I guess we could just get another... No, we need to get... Oh God, this is definitely an issue. So, if we want blue, we need to play Steam Vents. But if we want black, we need to get Water Gray, but then we can't play DRC. And then we're like super light. I think I'd rather just not have blue mana here than be super light on um, playables here. Just play this for zero. Is it even worth playing for zero? I think it is. Uh, I think we do want to land. Do we want to land? I believe we want to land. Yeah, it turned... No, no, let's just not keep it. I'm not terribly worried about it. Let's just not draw our Mishra's Bottles here. I could totally be, like, sold that the land's fine. Because we don't have blue mana, which is kind of a problem. But Ragavan kind of plays the part of blue mana. Spellskite. Interesting. So let's start off with a... Thoughtseize. A bolt. Uh, that'd be one, two. 
So if we want, we can get a little crazy here. We can definitely get crazy here. I don't know if this is like the wrong play or the right play, but I'm gonna bend this. Let's see what their hand is first. Maze Mine Tome and Snaring Bridge. Well, I think we gotta take the bridge here. Yeah. So, if we wanna get really wild, we could go Shadow, Kill It, Unholy Heat, or we could just play Croxa. And I, I definitely see like merit in both, but I'm not actually sold that either is that, like, is that great? I think playing Croxa is the correct call, although I kind of just want to slam this Shadow into the bin and get in with this Ragavan, because this is probably the last turn we're going to be able to get in with Ragavan, but I think it is fine to just slam our Croxa, take the L, I mean, I guess Welding Jar also is kind of annoying in that sense, so... Uh, so now we have like more problems. Feels like we should have kept the land now. I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty, but maybe I should have just attacked first. No, uh, I don't think so. I think this is fine play. Guess we are looking for our dress downs now. Dress down would be pretty sweet. Cause it seems like it's Urza's Saga versus the world here. But I'm not sure like what they're gonna go get with this saga. Hmm. The, these saga tokens are gonna be quite large and in charge. Um buying Luris or not buying Luris? Probably not buying Luris. We'll just hold up our two like spells here. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I'm kind of concerned that we're going to lose this game somehow. And I feel like we're in a good spot. I think we're going to try and unholy heat this construct here in response to them making another one. Because I'm fine with them paying two life to kill Spell Skite because honestly, I'm down to kill Spell Skite regardless. Um, but I think we should do it now because if they let this go, then I'm gonna try and bolt the construct. Or if they if they kill their Spell Skite and don't Welding Jar it, I wanna bolt their Spell Skite now. Oh, okay. They're just regenerating it, which I think is fine. Ugh. I don't think we can keep that, sadly. Although that would have been a very good one to have. Guess we just bolt this now? No, they just spell skite. Oh, that's a mistake, yeah. So definitely, I feel like I messed this up, but it's okay. We'll just bolt them on the end step, I assume. Ooh, they're gonna get rid of Croxa. Yikes, that is not good. Now our whole game plan's kind of going to like to, to shit here. They're exiling our entire bin, it's awesome. And blowing up our board, yikes. Okay, so we're definitely in trouble here. Kind of need a fetch lands. Inquisition, not good. Hmm. So it's kind of crazy that I believe that that was the right choice was to not keep the fetch land, but it's definitely come back to bite us quite a bit. Okay, that was not bad. I think we're just gonna buy Luris here. Well, I'm not 100% sold this is better than just getting another Shadow on the board, I do think Luris is like something we need to win this game. So I'm not sure how we're getting down on the ground unless we find a way to 
get like a dress down or something, which is like something reasonable for sure. Probably shouldn't attack. Okay, they don't. Seems to me that Fatal Push is better in the meta than in the Holy Heat. I think I would agree with that. Uh, I'm not too sold that um, Unholy Heat's like the best possible. I do think it's very, very, very good. And I would be running some number of both. But I'm not sold that one's tip, like necessarily better than the other. I'm not sure, like, I, again, I can be sold that both are, oh, why didn't I attack? I'm, I'm talking, great. That, that always happens. I always, I always distract myself. It's no one's fault except my own. Uh oh they put a card on top. What are they keeping on top? Probably a, oh, that works. Urza Saga definitely makes sense. Oh, okay, so they are this deck. Put a plus one, plus one target creature, okay. Drown and lock. Um, okay. So, we have some awkwardness here. If I play this Ragavan, I lose my ability to have this be delirious. Which is definitely quite awkward. So I think what I'm doing is just attacking with the squad here. I think that's what's going on. See what happens here. See what happens. Um, they can definitely remove a counter from Maze Mind Tome and put a counter on this construct, but I don't think I care. Oh, they just let it die. Okay. All right, well, we'll just hold up Counter Spell and have them dead next turn. Blast Zone obviously could do some work, but I think they're even dead to Blast Zone here. Doing something. So as long as they just counter something that matters. As long as it does not matter. If it does not uh, like change the fact that we're winning this game. I don't think we will care. But again, unlike the Unholy Heat over Fatal Push. I think there are definitely some arguments for both. And I'm not sure which one's better. Like, I think I'd be running some number of each. I think it, like a 2-2 two -two split is fine or something. Because Shadow's definitely going around now. Um, all right, they conceded. Sweet. We had the, we had pretty much everything covered anyways, but definitely an awkward start for us, but we, we ended up getting there. So these dress downs are very good. I think the same thing with Drown and Lock is it's pretty reasonable. I feel like Bolt is not reasonable here. Um, Unholy Heat's probably fine. They probably play, like, some number of cards and stuff like that. Um... Stuff I need to worry about a little bit, but not too badly. Alpine Moon's probably fine. Just like the fact that it can name uh, Urza Saga and or a Tron piece is pretty valuable. And then what? What do I want to get rid of? Could see getting rid of a, like an Inquisition or something like that. Could see Dress Down. Maybe like three is just fine. I think I'm gonna side on the fact that dress down is slightly worse here, but I'm not sure about that. It's a pretty good card. Maybe one expressive out. I could be sold on that. I don't think it's any of the creatures. Maybe no, I don't think it's Croxa here. So the thing is, like, Fatal Push is definitely better. In certain situations specifically, like against some decks, Fatal Push is just the best card. Like against our deck, I think I'd rather Fatal Push over Unholy Heat. Like I'm not saying in our deck, I'm saying against our deck. Um, but the versatility of Unholy Heat is something that Fatal Push doesn't have. So like being able to deal with Planeswalkers, Murktide Region, anything like a... A, uh, I mean, I know Storming Entity is not currently around, but, like, that's definitely a reason to possibly have it. Um, there are definitely reasons to be playing on Holy Heat, and I understand why you want... Like, if you're already, like, trying to get Delirium anyways, it seems better in, like... It seems better, like, 55% of the time than Push, but Push is definitely better certain situations and certain times. Um... But I'm not, it's, again, it's hard for me to describe 
and like understand which card's better because they both have their situations where they are very good. I think this is a fine keep. Um, definitely need to land, but we have two Ragavans. Like Ragavan's such a good card, so we will try it. We also need to be worried about um, what is it? I wonder if we have an answer for this in the sideboard. I guess maybe we should bring in these EEs, but um, we need to be worried about Chalice of the Void here. They did. We did see it uh, in their deck, so. Something we definitely need to be concerned about. So I probably should bring in EEs, considering it's decent against the Karn, uh, the Karn Structs, and it's just like a way to get out underneath them. Chalice of the Void. Pithy Needle? God, if you name Bloodstained Mire, you're a sicko. You are a sick, sick. Oh, thank God. Oof. Holy Jeebus. <laughs> My life. <laughs> Woo! Okay. That would have been uh, so bad. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Wow. The soul read. Cheese welding jar. Okay. So I think we definitely want a slash need a uh, EE in this deck. Blood Crypt. Okay. Well, let's start off by attacking them. That, that was wild. The soul read. Urza's tower. Uh, definitely want a Thoughtseize here. Or maybe we should we should probably um, expressive first here. Ooh. So I kind of want Drown and Croxa, but Croxa's definitely better than Drown in this situation. They don't have any cards in their graveyard, so. So, yeah. It was like a semi-close option but obviously one card is just not playable here mystic forge okay so next time we do get to go dress down croxa if we want which is definitely cool ensnaring bridge yikes do we have an answer for that card i'm actually not certain we do let me let me check real quick um so what did we bring in? Do we? I don't think we have an answer for that card. Um. Huh. I might be insane, but I don't think we actually have an answer for that card. I guess we have Croxa Luris loops. That's reasonable. That's reasonable, I guess. It's not the best answer in the world, but it's an answer, so. Like, yikes, but. Does not feel good, but that is our out, I assume. Um, so, I guess we can just try and ground our opponent into the ground, like grind them into the grind. G cannot speak, grind them into the ground. Bobble, bobble. Bobble you, do you have Chouse of the Void? Shoot. Well, Chalice is probably just going to be played on zero, which honestly I'm fine with. If they put it on two, I don't think we actually have a way to win. But I'll let them put it on zero. Let's see if they are like a five head. Mm -hmm. Put it on zero, plus. We totally have K commands in our deck, and we're just digging to that card. Totally. Totes digging to K command. I, I just need to check again, just to make sure. We brought in our Alpine Moons. They put it on one. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm very much fine with that. Expedition map. Cool with that too. Cool with that too. That one is not a card that I should care about. Croxa. Start the train. <laughs> Let's get it going, Croxa. <laughs> we need to get this auto yield on. We have a bolt to turn. Uh, cast with Luris.
I mean, it's honestly not that slow of a clock, to be quite frank. To be quite honest, not that slow of a clock. If they are keeping a card in hand, I am ecstatic. Uh, another land, cool. Okay, another land for us. It's fine. Cast Croxa. Um, well, I guess this Bloodstained Mire is a card. Uh, yeah. Let's just pass. It is technically a land at this point because of Yabamaya. Might as well as fetch. Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's hope their top card's not good, but geez. Cast Cruxa. Guess we should just like cycle this dress down at some point. I'm guessing it'll be this turn. We'll just do it on their main phase, I guess. What are they playing? No. Uh-oh. Don't know if we have an out to this one, though. They'll just get, like, a Soul Guide Lantern, and I think we're actually just dead now. I think that was the card that we were worried about. Oh, man. Okay, so EE -E for sure needs to come in, I assume. Um... Oh, uh, we don't even have bolts anymore. Interesting. Mm hmm. I guess, yeah, we probably do need. Probably just need a. Need a. Whatchamacallit. Ooh, they're just ticking up. Okay, we're going to do this on their main phase because we don't want Crocs losing, losing the abilities. Just can tripping. Another shadow. <laughs> Not really doing much. Drown and lock. So, I guess we can't even escape. So, yeah. This kind of sucks. Oops. I mean, we have them dead next turn if they're drawing a land. So. Something to think about. We just need to drown and lock whatever they get, assuming it's counterable. If it is a zero, one, or two drop, we can't kill it. But next turn, we just get to... So if they get like a way to exile our bin, which is typically one or two mana, or normally one or zero mana. So Torp Orb, okay, yeah, we counter this. And if they drew a land, they lose. We take our chances. We take our chances that they drew a land. Paying cost. Why are we paying costs? Why are we paying costs? Damn, okay. Remove. Well, now I think we're dead. Rip. <laughs> we drew a Croxa. Yeah, we're dead here, right? Yeah, we're dead. I don't think we have an out, so. They locked us pretty hard here. That sucks. We were close, honestly. It felt like we were close, at least. We were one turn off, so I think these EEs need to come in, sadly. Um, probably better than what? Honestly, while Croxa looked kind of good, I don't think Croxa is necessarily want to be, so. Maybe Croxa is better than Dress Down. I'm not sure. We are on the play, though. Damn. That was, that was a tough game. Alright, I think this is a fine keep.
Like, again, Ragavan pretty much acts as a land, so we will keep it. Alpine Moon's pretty good here. Like, I, everything in this hand is pretty reasonable. Plus, we have, like, the that fast clock with Shadow and Dress Down if we need it. Definitely going to have Blood Crypt here. Just find lands. Lands would be helpful. Okay. Bobble's not Horde. Soul Guide Lantern. We might cast that, to be honest. Welding Jar. Let's see. Um, okay, what do we care about here? We don't actually care about this chalice. Um, I mean, we kind of do, but like not really at the same time. I think Ratchet Bomb's just the worst for us. So, and we know they are drawing what? A Welding Jar? Yeah. I think we need to take this Ratchet Bomb. Actually, Welding Jar makes this awkward because of specifically Welding Jar in the chalice but I think this is fine where's this tower or is this power plant definitely awkward here but I think our only way to win this game is taking this ratchet bomb I think if we let them um Urza's power plants we can always put this EE on zero, and maybe they don't play their, um, ooh, land's not bad. Maybe they don't play their, uh, their E or their welding jar and, uh, whatchamacallit here. Oh, they played this. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I guess we're playing out our shadow here, right? I guess that's like the best play here. I guess we're just playing, yeah, we're just playing out our shadow. We'll attack next turn. We can dress down and like bop them for a bunch if we want. So our hand is mine. Chalice on one, fine. If they block, no, well, they probably don't block Spellskite too. Oh, that's actually not bad. Just don't uh, not find a land. Sweet. Shadow into hand. Thought sees land. This is fine. Mm, ooh, wait, what did I put to the bottom? That was a mistake. Why did I... I don't know why I put Shadow in the hand with this um, Chalice on the battlefield. Not gonna lie, I just completely blanked on that. What was the other card? I don't even know. It was Thoughtseize, I guess? Yeah, so I guess this is fine. It's not that important. Okay, Saga is fine. So they are just dead, kind of, here. They're kind of in this abyss of, like, I don't really know what they're supposed to do here. Hold on, I should hold control here. Let's kill this. Yeah, kind of just want to kill a spell sky, get in. This will tap it at the bare minimum if they want a welding jar. And like welding jar, now this is just perfect, yeah. So they are dead next turn. They are dead next turn. Do we want to play a spell sky? Honestly, that's interesting. It makes us not have. It doesn't force our hand here of playing this dress down. So I think that's kind of interesting. We could just pay a bunch of life here. Right? I believe that's how that works. Yeah, that is how that works. Funny. 
Funnily enough, that is how that works. All right, so they are dead. They are dead, sweet. Sure, dress down. Bop them for a bunch. And we are 2-0. Oh. Oof. Feels like that was an interesting little match, but uh, I feel like, I don't know. I, it just felt like a weird matchup. Uh, I feel like I even missed sideboarded. But anyways, we're on to match number three. Just because like you can like totally get ahead with Expressive Iteration. But we're on to match three. Like Expressive Iteration is just such a good card. It's so good. Both revealing Lurus, Pog, um, hands fine. Hand is fine. We keep these, I mean, we have the best cards in Magic, so. <laughs> we have the best one drops in the deck, so we <laughs> can't really say no to this. We have two busted one, or three busted one drops, and that's about it. What are they on? Bobble, Serum Visions, what does this mean? I just want to bobble us on the upkeep. I'd love to draw lands. Let's draw lands. Bolts. Okay. Cast Ragavan. So I wonder what this blue means. I'm I'm a little concerned what blue means. Is this like watery grave? Interesting. Watery grave. They not Grixis. Hmm. Lands? Shit. Shoot. This definitely could be bad for us. Repealing. Oh man. Well, sadly, we're gonna cast our Ragavan and be sad that we didn't hit a land drop. I'm confused what's going on. Hmm. Wishclaw Talisman. Is this Twiddlestorm? What is this? We have our own Wishclaw if we want it, but I don't think we do. Let, let's go get a, um, what? Watery Grave, I guess? I think it's worth not playing this DRC out just yet, just in case you want to hold up Drown Lock. Okay, it is Twiddle Storm. Entwine, choose both. So they just have a bunch of mana, so we might as well just take a Wish. Yeah. Play. I'm actually going to play out this DRC. This might be a mistake, but it's a mistake I'm willing to make. If they draw exactly um, Lotus Field, we could be screwed, but I don't think their hand's necessarily that great, so um, I'm fine taking this. Definitely are just going to yield the end step. We'll bolt them. We'll turn on this DRC, put them down to 12. We attack for five. That's them at seven. We'll hold up this drown lock the rest of the game, hopefully. Although they can get Wish Claw for, I guess as long as we're, if we, if we can counter a Wish, we are fine. So that's what we need to be concerned about. I don't think there's a way for us to kill them here. They might be repealing this. Twiddle. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I've never seen this line. I'd say that's a super cool line. Very cool line. So, okay, they got Twiddle. 
they're probably going to go get, they need to get Lotus Field and then probably Wish. So as long as we have a counter spell up for Wish, we should be fine. I think we'll, we'll bolt them here on the instep still. Confused what's going on. Dress down, sadly don't want that. Um, I guess if we wish for Bolt, we technically have them dead. That's true. If we wish for Bolt, they are dead. So they should... Okay, they're not even twiddling this now. Dreams grip. Yeah, I mean... We're gonna go for it. We're gonna grab a Bolt. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what could they have here? I'm not really certain. So, I'm just going to go for it. Bolt you again. Keep this land on top. I mean, do they play counter spells? I don't know. Alright, they don't. So, we took that one down. Interesting. That was a very cool line, though, going uh, double uh, whatchamacallit. So Flusterstorm is insane. This is probably our best card by a country mile. Drown Locks, very good. Let's take out our Unholy Heats. Um, probably can take out Dress Downs as well, although I'm not certain. They could be a deck that wins with Thassos Oracle, but more often than not, I believe it's a uh, Grape Shot kill. But if it is Thassa's Oracle kill, Dress Down is very good. So we got to keep that in mind. If they combo off, we will definitely keep that in mind. Oh, are you talking about this deck specifically? The Dress Down version? Because it would be super fun to play. Ragaman's such a good card. But um, yeah, I was going to say, not the, I was assuming not the Twiddle Storm. Yeah, no, this deck, um, I'll keep two Dress Downs in. Just in case they are on the Thassa's Oracle kill. Because I think all these other cards are like useless. Maybe Soulguide Lantern is honestly not that bad. Sometimes they play Past and Flames. So I'm actually I'm more in for that. Um, yeah. I just kind of want Ragamans in paper to be honest. The card's just kind of like... The card is super fun. But should totally be banned in my opinion. I hate the card. But playing with it feels just so... Like it's so fun. But like... The card is miserable if you're not playing it. Like, absolutely abysmally boring and just, like, so obnoxious. Card can just win the game by itself. It's the best one-drop mana dork. Best, like, it's just such a good card. It's absurd. Totally would not be against with that, like, that card getting banned at all. Not opposed at all. Well, I mean, we're not... <laughs> We just talked about how insanely dumb this card is, so we might as well as play it, right? The card is good. The card is something. We also have a Drown and Lock, so if they try and repealing it, um, we're going to counter it. So Interesting. Oh, okay. we got to keep this in mind. They did not reveal Luris here, so they probably have some sort of ley line in their deck. Or Blood Moon? Are they stifling this? Oh my god. I'm like, are we dead here? Bro, our opponent is like a sicko mode player. Green. Okay. Are we making red? Blue. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, yikes. All right. Well, we can deal with this eventually. By eventually, we can deal with this pretty simply. To simply put it, we can probably beat this. Um, yeah, Drown Lock's a good card, if you didn't know. I'm not going to play around many counter spells, so. 
Maybe I should. I probably should have played her out of counter spell. Shouldn't have I? Hundred percent should have just done this on my turn. Okay, it didn't end up mattering. So we're at six. I mean, I feel like we're fine here. If they don't, if they don't repeal our Ragavan, I feel quite good about this game because we're just gonna go drown and lock Bolt. And then they have a 2-2. If we draw a land, it's also pretty good. I don't. Wishclaw Talisman. Okay, well, we will drown and lock here. Bolt here. All right. I mean, that was definitely a really cool start by them, but our deck is doing what it's supposed to do. So this is why they uh, they don't have Luris for Av or Ave. Wow, they are attacking. Quite bold. Quite bold. At least I believe that's quite bold. Quite bold. Shadow. Yikes, that's pretty good. An E E. Should we thought seize them? Goes to two. I feel pretty safe even at two, so let's do it. Maybe I shouldn't, but Underworld Breach? Yikes. Okay, that was a good reason to thought seize. The cards I would need to get are the blue fetches and ragavans. Yeah. Well, that's that's those are expensive. Those are definitely expensive. So we have we have plenty of outs here, right? Croxa. Croxa kinda feels like an out here. They're just like drawing off the top here. They block here they're dead. They block. Okay, yeah, they have to block the Death Shadow. So as long as we play Croxa, I couldn't imagine a way out of this, but but who knows? Underworld Breach. Oh, nah. We could just like bolt them. That'd be kind of interesting. I guess Breach, no, I don't even think Breach is a draw, because they had Wish. Yeah, I don't think Wish does it, so. See if we lose. I, I don't know what the out could be here. Our opponent seems very good at this deck, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of terrified. It would have to be the draw three and then discard three at the end step, but I don't even know if that, that could do it. Ideas Unbound or something, something like that. Engineer Explosives for one. I guess that does it. <laughs> That's actually pretty brutal. That's very brutal, actually. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well, let's Expressive. Well, Hot Seas is useless, so. Watery Grave, deal. Um, hmm. Blood Crypt, <laughs> yikes. This has been a very weird game, <laughs> not gonna lie. So now a, a Breach would be pretty good. A Serum Visions, I will take that. Uh, we drew a Soul Guide Lantern, which is actually quite good. Sure, we'll keep that on top. Why not? Soul Guide Lantern was actually insane. That one was quite good. We will not be paying the life either, I promise. Okay. 
Okay, they are at essentially, oh wait, they're dead. Oopsies, yeah, they are dead. We have Croxa. We have Croxa. All right, so we are moving in to the third match. Or fourth match, right? Oops, what am I doing? Red, black, there you go. Croxa for the victory. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 3-0, moving into 4 or moving to the fourth match. Hopefully we get the 4-0. That'd be quite hype. But uh, getting into match four, we're on the play. Pog. Let's keep having one drops, you know. We're, we're keeping on that train, so as long as we keep our one drops going, we will be happy. This is a pretty decent hand. I think we're going to lead with Blood Crypts. Um, I guess, okay, so... There are some slight reasons to fetch here. If we specifically draw Thoughtseize, we would want to fetch here, right? Because fetch, shock, three, fetch, shock, six, Thoughtseize, eight, yeah. Yeah, no Ragavans, rip. Ragavan is just such an obscenely good card. It's kind of insane. Like, it's hard to, like, reason not playing that card, just because it's quite good. I'm actually going to go get... Let's just go get a Blood Crypt here. Blood Crypt's fine, in my opinion. Copper Line Gorge. Shriekhorn. Okay. Oh, we got to play on edge here. Watery Grave. What's on top? No, we don't want land. Golgari Thug, Cathartic Reunion. Well, we'll take the Cathartic. Guess we are not... Inquisition again? Alright, whatever. Get us with your Narc Amoeba. I'm, I'm accepting. I'm accepting this L if you hit it. But if they do this now, there's a chance they hit Creeping Chill. Hold up, turn off Auto Yields. If they hit a Creeping Chill, they would help us out. Dang. Sad. Sad. I would have actually loved a Creeping Chill to get hit. Ox. Yikes. Ox is quite good in the bin. Blood Crypt. Don't tell me you drew a Cathartic. Okay, they're, they're playing their Cold <laughs> All right, I love that. That makes me happy. Oops. Red, blue. Uh, I don't think we need other lands. Um, specifically, not a red source. Is kind of bad. Uh, Drown and Lock? Honestly, kind of useless here. But, guess we'll keep it. It's not necessarily the best card right now. Because, I mean, I guess maybe it's okay. Don't hit a Miller. Sweet. So, I didn't hit any Dredgers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're fine here. We're not in like the best spot, but we're definitely not in a horrible spot. They didn't hit any dredgers, which is like the key. The key to victory. Narc Amoeba. Cool. I guess we're gonna Inquisition here. Realistically, we could Inquisition ourselves. Actually, we'll see what we draw here. Bloodstained Mire. Yeah, let's just Inquisition them. Please don't have a dredger in hand. Oh, let's put that to the bin. Put that to the bin. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll attack. Play our shadow, play our fetch land, and I think we'll be off to the races here. Off to the races. I think we, I mean, this turn... I feel like they're actually like very close to being dead here. So let's say we fetch shock. We, how much is this? So they're one off. So they get a fetch land, they can ox here, which would be quite awful for us. 
I guess if they draw a fetch in response. No, there's no way we can stop it. Oh, they have a fetch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Burning inquiry. Are we fine with this? I'm trying to figure out if we're fine with this. Uh, I'm not sure. Sure, I guess we're fine with it. I'm not sure. It's definitely awkward. They hit a stinkweed imp, so that's definitely the problem. Oh man. Hmm. Maybe I should have countered it. I actually do not know why it's called the rock. I think someone said because of deranged tournament, and I just believe them. I'm not actually certain, but could not tell you. Creeping chill. Okay, stinkweed imp hit no dredgers. Cool. So they have two prize amalgams, which is like kind of spooky. Um, we might be okay here. This is definitely an interesting, yeah, I'm not, uh, someone says because Drain Hermit looks like The Rock, like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So it's someone said, or someone told me, a bolt, probably good here. Bolt's definitely good. We're definitely in an awkward position, right? Definitely in an awkward position. By Lurus, attack. Sure, we'll bottle you for whatever reason. Draw a creeping chill, which is kind of terrifying. Um, yeah. Should probably fetch here. They do. Smart. Okay, so we can definitely don't think we're dead here. If they attack us, they are probably dead. It's awkward because we are very close to killing them, but we're not close enough. If they creeping chill attack with everything, we're at eight, and then they would technically have lethal, although they don't actually. Then mm -hmm. Ugh. So we have to remove five, we take five. Hmm. So we take five, this is big enough to kill, or not kill ox, but just bounce off of ox. Bolt here. Hmm. So I guess we're looking for another removal spell, right? Croxa, no. Bloodstained Mire, no. Huh. So how do we win this game? You need to just draw a removal spell, right? No, that doesn't do it now. Huh? Trying to think how we win this game, and it seems like it's very difficult to win this game. Because the problem is they're just going to end up milling their entire graveyard. 
uh, most assuredly. Like milling their entire deck, and we, there's a problem where it's six, and they have two creeping chills left. Um, so I guess five is like almost essentially the same as as uh, what you call it as six. So like I guess we fetch here. Maybe it's not the same. Maybe I'm making a like bad mistake here. A shadow. Shadow is probably not bad. Let's just go to attacks here. Just, I think that's like our only actual attack, so. We can't not attack. We're kind of, <laughs> we're not kind of, we are forced to attack, so. So we play here. I think we play our DRC and then a shadow and hope they don't mill everything. No real reason to play the fetch land. We can just like keep it in our hand as like a bluff slash if we need it, we can fetch. Conflagrate, it's probably lethal. Cause all they would need to do is hit one creeping chill. They really haven't like hit any millers, which is kind of funny, but. Uh, if we attack with everything next turn, we still don't have them dead, I guess. So if we, if they, for some reason, let's just say they hypothetically do this. They play out their Stinkweed M, try to survive another turn. We can dash Ragavan, and if we draw a removal spell, they're dead. Because then we have, we have eight, because we could remove the Stinkweed Imp and or Gol Golgari Thug. We could remove any of their creatures and they die. Um, don't think that's going to happen, but... It's always a possibility. Seems like that's what they're doing here. I don't know what else they were tapping three mana for. Hawks. Oh, they played a tapped lane, that's what it was. Now it's gonna be pretty hard pressed to win this game. Creeping Chill, Narc Amoeba. Not another one yet. Double creeping chill. No, that's a step. All right. Nothing much we could do. I mean, we tried to pressure them fast enough, but we just didn't get there. Um, okay. So we definitely need the soul guide lanterns. I don't know what else we even want at this point. Like, I feel like this might just be a bad matchup. Um... I think Dress Down's honestly, like, respectable. Drown doesn't feel great. Croxa does not feel great. Um, he doesn't even feel that good. I guess, like, what even feels good here? Like, the are, this this whole situation feels fine. But after that, I have zero clue what to do. I feel like Drowns are just specifically better than anything else here. Maybe not better than an Unholy Heat. Just to be like a more efficient removal spell if that ends up mattering. So, alright. I, I don't know what we're really supposed to do in this matchup. I guess we're just supposed to mulligan to a Soul Guide Lantern and loop it with uh, Luris. But uh, we, I feel like we also need pressure at some point, but I'm not really certain. Oh my god. <laughs> the roommates. My roommate loves games, and he gets, a little, uh, he gets a little intense sometimes. I don't know if you all can hear him, but he, he definitely gets intense sometimes, which cracks me up. So, maybe EE is reasonable. I really don't think it is. But maybe on two. I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like I don't know how to beat this matchup. And I, I guess it's just Mulligan to a uh, Soul Guide Lantern hand and just like hope that's good enough. Which I don't necessarily even think that's good enough. This is, this is like specifically in why my own builds, I tend to like running 
like quite a few number of uh I, I just can't keep this hand. I can't reason myself to keep that hand. Ugh. I like, I feel like this hand's also just kind of slow. Like, doesn't even have a threat. Like, I just can't reason with this one either. Okay, this is definitely the best hand we've seen so far. Um, I think it's just this. Like, let's do this. We'll just try and find some lands here. I'm mistaken. I'm sorry. I told everyone that I don't imagine ever wanting to deal with Leyline of Sanctity, so I guess that having the Nile Spellbomb would have just been, just been horrible here. Drown? Nope. Sure, I guess we can just target ourselves with both of them. Doesn't really matter. Does not matter. Shriekhorn. Soul Guide Lantern number two. That's not bad. I mean, definitely one of our better draws. Lance? Jeez, okay. We're having a tough time finding land. Having a tough time finding a land, for sure. Aha, there it is. There is our land. We can exile a bobble. It's fine. Sure, sure, sure. We know what we're drawing anyway. So, Golgari Thug. I guess we can just let them begin to mill a little bit. I don't think we really care. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So, I mean, I guess this is what you're supposed to do, is just find your two Soul Guide Lanterns and just win like that. Guess that is our plan. And then we just have expressive iteration to get our fourth land, our third land, and I think we should be good. I think we should be good. I mean, hopefully we're good here. If we draw a land, I think we should be fine. If we don't draw a land, it's okay. Huh? Just play our Soul Guide Lantern. We can dig for this land here as well. We don't want the Inquisition. Just take their Stinkweed Imp. Conflagrate's definitely kind of a problem, but... Um, okay, I'm gonna pop this. I think we're kind of forced to pop this, sadly. They have the, the, it's just, the problem is they have a conflagrate, and I just don't really want to give them the conflagrate. Cathartic, fine. Well, yeah, let's just, let's just pop this. All right. We're all in on land here. That's our that's our, our game plan here. Just find a land. It's not what we were asking for. Sure. Land's fine. Guess we're taking the bolt. <laughs> so if we get to It's definitely gonna be kind of hard because we need to get to this Luris ASAP. And if they find a dredger here, we could definitely be in trouble. Okay, I mean, they just found pressure, which really doesn't matter. I'm fine with that. They're not even playing out their thug here, which is kind of interesting. So if we get the uh, dress down, not horde. It's kind of awkward. Is even if we do get Luris here, there's a there's definitely that chance where, like, we don't even draw a land, and then we just can't even lantern. Which I guess we don't need to. City of Brass. Okay, land, please. One time dealer. That's what we're looking for, for sure. 
is what we're looking for. If not, I guess we just expressive find our land and we'll be fine. Prize amalgam, sure. This is fine. We'll bolt here on holy heat. Don't want that. I think we just pass here. So I'm just scared that they have a, I'm not sure what. I guess an ox is what I'm scared of and I just dress down. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now I wish I had that on holy heat on top. Sure. So we're not like dead here, which is like good. We, we have outs to a removal spell. Oh, this is the deck you have on paper, sweet. Check that out in a second. Land, pretty decent. Hmm. Maybe I should have gone for the expressive kill here. Hmm. Might have been a mistake. Yeah, I probably should have gone for express or expressive iteration for the win. That was a hundred percent a mistake, I believe. I guess that's bad. There's there's many reasons for why it could be bad. All right, I guess Ox would need to hit exactly two Creeping Chills, which would feel brutal, because I feel like that's what they have. Oh, honestly, they can't even play Ox, right? Because they need to fetch. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. We should be fine. I mean, we're blocking with everything. Okay, holy Jesus, that game was way too close. Let me check out your list real quick. Ooh, you're a Seal of Fire player. Okay. I do like Seal of Fire. I'm not saying it's bad. Oh, you're on Swift Spear. Interesting. Interesting. Have you tried out um, DRC? I mean, because I can understand not liking the card. I can definitely reason with it. Um, I do think it's worth it, but... I could see why someone might not want to play it. But I do think it is better than Swift Spear currently. Ooh, you probably can't keep those hands. Let's see. Did our opponent mulligan? They mulligans. We will join them. We will keep. This hand is perfect. I'm actually going to put back the fetch lands. A little, I just like getting the early damage. That's reasonable. I think the one reason to be like defensible on DRC is while you might miss out on early damage, the evasion is so important to me that I kind of think that it might just be better. And the, I mean, obviously there's card filtering too, but, um, But yeah, th th I mean, those are like, I mean, I, it's nothing like, I, it's not like, oh, my, my, my opinion's so unique. No, um, would not say that, but um, definitely do think DRC is, I mean, if you, if you, sh I think you should at least, if maybe if you haven't tried it, just try it, but I can definitely see the reason why someone might not like it. But again, I'm not trying to say, oh my God, I'm so like. I'm so five head, but no, it's not what I'm trying to say. I think we, we just do this. Um, I don't think we want, don't think we want to, uh, ooh, shadow. Hey, let's put that in the graveyard. I'm like kind of intrigued, but not really. Don't 
Don't hit an Arc Amoeba. Ooh, are they about to Lightning Axis? I'm down with it. Count me in. Oh. Red? Yes. Count me in, dealer. Creeping Chill, Ancient Grudge. Ooh, that's annoying. Maybe I should have just popped this anyways, because they're going to Ancient Grudge this in the upkeep probably before they mill themselves to the corn. Yeah. Yeah, I should have done that. That was a mistake. Lost three points of damage where I didn't need to. Ugh, and they flipped pretty pretty well there in their last two cards. Okay, Graveyard's not that good. Okay, so we're fine. As long as we don't lose this turn, we should be okay. There's definitely a chance we could lose this turn. I mean, not actually, but like essentially be in this like void of like we're just kind of screwed. But no, okay, we're fine. They just do. Yeah, it's it's my first try on this, so I'm definitely interested. It's been fun, Viking. How's it going? How is it going, Viking? Okay, prized amalgam. Sure, we can beat that. We can beat this. Okay, we'll go get our basic mountain here. We just need to preserve our life total at this point. Ooh, getting off for the week. Hell yeah. That's always good. That is always good. Uh, another shadow. I think we will keep that. I guess this doesn't really matter. We're probably just going to end up uh, popping the popping this lantern anyway. Do we care if they dark blast? Eh, probably not. Eh, maybe we do. Let's just not let them dredge here. Just not let them dredge. So the reason I want to keep Shadow is I don't want to have to like constantly be uh, buying back the Soul Guide Lantern. So it's kind of the main reason. Uh. 3-0 in the league already. Oh, yeah. And it seems like we're thoroughly far ahead here. I would imagine we're taking this one down. But there's there's always chances. I don't want to, like, confirm that we're taking this one down. But it seems like we are in the spot to be quite ahead. Dress down. Put that in the graveyard, actually. Uh, we can get rid of a Ragavan. I don't think this thing's... That, that card's just not going to be relevant for the rest of the game. Um, Maybe we don't want to shock here. Maybe we just want to play the shadow out. I think that's fine. I'm going to attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's been a pretty interesting little league for sure. I would highly recommend... It will, it, this this actually is going to be a YouTube video, so, oh my god, my roommate's going sicko mode. Well, we're 4-0! Let's see if we get the 5-0. Oof. Guys, we're into the fifth match. Let's see if we can, um, see if we can get this. Let's get this 5-0. Ugh. Rip. Sadly have to, uh, mulligan here. Oh, no. Going to 5. Going to 4. <laughs> Oh my god, is this even a good four? <laughs> Alright, let's keep three lands in Bobble. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a tough, tough game. <laughs> Oof, okay. Oof. Maybe, ah, uh, maybe I was talking trash. I it, was, it wasn't meaning to be trash, it was just funny to me and I thought it was hilarious. Okay, this is the uh, Taking Turns deck. Bloodstained Mire, sadly can't uh, can't be taking that. Just get a water grave here. Ooh. Dress down. Thoughtseize. Not the worst draws. Obviously not the best draws either. 
Okay. We are looking semi-fine. Well, our hand was not great. Their hand looks a little questionable, but we'll see what's going on. We'll F6 it up. Get our value where we can. They're shocking. Okay, so they're just cracking the clue, it seems like. Croxa. Croxa is really not that bad. Although, wait, is that better? The problem is they just have so many lands anyways that I just don't think it's worth getting this Croxa down here. I feel like I typically like the idea of getting Croxa down early in this matchup, but the problem is we're just so low on resources that I think we don't have that, that uh, opportunity. Like, typically, I would just, like, okay, you know, if we have, like, maybe, like, some renewable spells, like, a bolt and, like, an unholy heat in our hand, deal. Count me in. But here, maybe not so much. We kind of just need our opponent to not draw well. Okay. So we know they actually have four lands still. So that's kind of cool. Let's not have a counter spell, please. Okay. There's a 5-0 list, Jun Chao running both DRC and Swifty. That would be interesting. Like, definitely would incentivize you to be more of, like, a prowess version. Yeah, definitely a rough start, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Is this a prismatic ending? Or, not a prismatic ending. Is this a prismari command? It feels like it. Oh, no. Cycling Triome. Count me in. Oh, there's the prismari command. That was probably their best draw. I also probably should have shocked there, because in case we drew a removal spell, we could remove this crab, which would be very good. Mm -hmm. I think we're actually just playing Croxa here. Like, we're just going to go Inquisition Croxa. I don't think there's any reason to go with the dress down. We're going to have enough mana to... Uh, to do it all anyways. Dwarven Mine, Wooded Foothills. Okay, so they still have a Scalding Tarn in hand. We have a Scalding Tarn. I guess we can use Croxa down here if we want, which I'm actually kind of down now. Oh my god. Don't even tell me about it. Don't even tell me. Don't even at me. I'm so sad. I'm so dumb. Whatever. We can do it next turn. Oh my god. Whatever. <laughs> we can escape and play Croxa here. Oh no. <laughs> don't even at me. I don't want to know. I know I messed up. <laughs> Please give me mercy. <laughs> oh, that was just, that's a feels bad. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is what I want to do. Honestly, it might be better to do it this way. Not really, but it might be better. Who, who knows? I'm going to reason with myself that it's better. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Oof. All right. So they're going to have one card. They are at essentially, what? Oops. They're not at the highest life total in the world. Uh, we have another fetch land, so we can get rid of all the lands here. And then we have an Inquisition Anathotsis, so we can keep Delirium here. I mean, we're not like in the worst spot. We draw a bolt and they don't draw a spell, we might just win. If they draw indomitable creativity, whatever. We take the L. Uh oh. Shoot. Prismac ending. Shoot. Shoot. Well, uh oh. Prismari commands.
What is this? What is this mystery spell? Damn, they did the flavor win where they gave us two cards to draw. <laughs> oh, man. Well, for a mold of four, I mean, it didn't really feel that bad. All right. Let's bring these EEs in. Bring the Drown in. Fluster Storm in. Uh, I don't... So, we saw a time warp. So, they're probably not on Emrakul. So, I'm fine keeping Terminates over... Eh, probably not. Let's just keep our one mana removal in. I'm assuming they're on the Velmachus build because of time warp specifically. So, I don't think Dress Down's very good. Hmm. Bolts probably aren't the best. I think we're fine trimming on them. Although, I'm not actually certain... I feel like two bolts are fine to come out. What what else do we not want? Crocs is actually pretty decent. Like discard spells I'm kind of cool with. Um let's just take a Crocs out. We'll be fine. We'll we'll live here. Like with dress down, I'm a little bit less inclined to keep it. Ooh. Um, huh. I think I'll keep this. It's definitely a little bit of a weird hand, but not bad. We get to turn two shadow, so can't really be opposed. I guess what we can realistically do here is we can play this bobble and figure out whether or not we want to keep our top card because Fetch shocking and Thoughts using here is really not even that great. Um, like it's fine. Another shadow. Huh? Do you want that? No, I think I'm fine here. I think I'm fine. We'll just shock fetch it away. They have two running six and a lightning bolt and a veil summer. Wow, their hand is like it's pretty pretty good. <laughs> um I guess we're just taking the lightning bolt, right? Oof, this is like very sketchy for us. Their hand is very good. I don't think it's veil. And the real question is it Ren or Bolt? And I think Bolt's better than Ren, so I guess we gotta take this Bolt. Does not feel great. Um Drown and Lock? Okay. That's a reasonable thing to have. A swamp. Oh, it's not the best. Alright. Alright. We'll pass it up here. We can, like, drown and lock the Ren here if they play it. Which doesn't feel horrible. Oh, they drew another land? Yikes. Okay. Fetch lands? Unholy heat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, unholy heats. Okay. Guess we're just buying Luris. Doesn't really feel that great. Yeah, I probably want red mana here. Interesting. If we could have, like, I, if they didn't show us that they drew another land, I would have 100% ran out shadow. But the fact of the matter is that they have another land. So, like, I don't think there's any real point. Um... Like, making them down tick with Ren and Six is just, like, not really a value play. Okay, you got a Ren. Huh. Lands? DRC? Huh. <laughs> this has not been the most, like, amazing draws in the world. So, what do we do? What do we do? 
feel like it might just be like do we just play Luris? That just feels so bad. Um you know they have a land and two spells. One is Ren, one is Veil. Like, worst comes to worst, this Luris becomes, like, I, I guess I'm just playing Luris here. Kind of feels like we gotta play Luris and we kind of need lands, because I feel like our hand is just super awkward. Maybe this is a mistake, though. So we could definitely lose now, but, like, Nahiri, okay. Nahiri's pretty good. But we could kill both their Planeswalkers if they just play Nahiri, so. Don't think they, that's going to be their play. Okay. Don't Dwarven mine and kill me, please. Don't you dare have the, the spell that wins the game. White. Okay, they're playing Nahiri, right? This is an ending? Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Fetch land. Sweet. Fetch land's not bad. Alright, now now we get to start playing some magic here. Um, I think we need another red land, and I think it's going to have to be Blood Crypt, sadly. We're not going to be very heavy on blue this game, but that's fine. Get to go Channeler. Channeler. I'm guessing they might have EEs, but whatever. Who cares? A uh, shadow. No, let's turn on Delirium here. Another shadow. I don't know. Another shadow is not bad, but I don't think I want it. All right. Here we are. <laughs> I think we're actually like not in that bad of a spot. They're probably just gonna cycle this veil. No, they don't. I would have cycled the veil. I feel like cycling veil there is pretty reasonable. It's like it's like obviously we have a removal spell for one of your creatures. Hmm. So we know they have land, veil, Nahiri, Rin. So they have four cards that are not mysteries. Probably just playing Nahiri here. Oh, Teferi. Oh, yikes. I hate that card. Sure, dude. I guess. I guess that's fine. Sure. That's fine. We'll let it go. We'll let it go. EE oh, is pretty darn good. They're bouncing our shadow. Interesting. Thoughtsies? Oof, that's good. Uh, what am I worried about? Guess we're not worried about this Ren, right? If they have a removal spell, whatever. One, two. Aether Gust on the one hitting. Who is this attacking? Cannot see. That's fantastic. Do we even care about Teferi? Like, what's there to care about Teferi? I'm not really certain. I mean, we can't counter it, so I guess this just has to happen, but... I, mean, I guess we're bottoming it. I'm not actually certain why we care about Teferi. Ragavan? Uh, that might be fine. Oh, Def Jad! Long time no see, buddy. How how's the new job been treating you? How has the new job been treating you? Every time, yeah, <laughs> it seems like it, doesn't it? Um, I guess we just do. I guess we just kill the Teferi. I don't know what could. Get him out of this. I'm trying to think. I'm guessing it would have to be a Teferi bounce this. 
Maybe just leave this EE open. I guess this is fine. Boring first week, it'll pick up soon, yeah, always does. Always does. Interesting. I'm trying to think, do we care about this Teferi? I don't think we do. Just continue on. Okay. No, don't have a prismatic ending. Uh oh. What is this? Why are we tapping mana in our main phase? It's a fairy. Oh my god. I hate my life. Stop. Stop, opponent, please. Please target the EE for some god known reason. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen you, like, anywhere. Normally, I see you at least, like, in the, um, like, I've, I've watched some Doom Wake a little bit recently, and, like, sometimes I see you in there as well, but I just haven't seen you anywhere. Just been busy as a bee. Interesting that they bounced the, the, uh, channeler. Okay, I should have popped this, but I, I got distracted here. Um, got distracted, as always. Let's attack, let's attack Ren here, I guess. See if they care. No, they do. Let's go with the unholy heat on the Rin. Oh, I should. Oof, this was. God, we love playing magic correctly, don't we? Don't we love it? <laughs> yeah, I haven't been on much. I slept a lot this. Yeah. Yeah, that, I remember. Like, it's kind of like the same thing when going back to school. It's like always. Oh my god, voice crack bog. Um, always super hectic the first week. Always super difficult, too. Okay, and they have drawn a million lands. I don't even know what they have left. They have seven cards in hand? Jeez. I mean, I know a bunch of them are lands. They still have this Veil of Summer. Um, I guess we're just dashing out Ragavan, right? Dash the monk. Kind of want to get this not written. I want to kind of get this Teferi off the battlefield, but I'll attack them with the other two. I just feel like getting Teferi off the battlefield will make my life ten times easier. I don't have to play around as many things. They want to trade with the the Ragavan here. Go ahead. Now they're doing this before they block. Guess this is fine though. Like I would love to EE here, but I don't think we can. Okay. So they are just dead next turn. Guess this this drown log literally does nothing, so let's just not worry about it. We have two blank cards because this Veil Summer has just been like rotting in their hand this entire game. Let's see what's going. Do they concede? This has been a crazy game. This this Rin and Six has been on the battlefield since about the first turn of the game. Um, which is funny. I mean, we'll we'll in step pop this E for sure. Okay. Feels like they're dead here. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> opponents, please. <laughs> well, I, I'm so confused what's going on. Three mana, I swear to God, it's another freaking affair. 
Ugh. Oh my god. I hate this game <laughs> with a passion. Opponents, chill. Unholy Heat, the Teferi. Bouncing Shadow. Cool. Cool. I mean, we'll just go to attacks again. We will try and kill the Teferi for the, like, the 15th time. Teferi. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Shadow. <laughs> the Stevens, I feel like, does nothing, so we'll just hold it for now. Green. Cycling their veil, finally. I feel like they should have done that a while ago, but it's okay. <sighs> we better have Dolarium here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five types. I swear to God, if this is another Teferi, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my God, it is. Guess we're going to go for the Drown and Lock. Don't you dare have a veil. Maybe, maybe I sh I don't even know. So we have to unholy heat this, but now we're probably just dead. Ugh, this game. Oh, there's an expressive iteration. We've been wanting that like the entire game. So sad. Ugh. I feel like we're losing now. Man. Oh, they don't have one. Holy Jesus. What did they just do? Oh, they have another one. Do they not have a dwarven mine? They do. Like, the problem is they just, like, we can't... I don't know how we play around this. Oh, they have a time warp? Jesus. The problem is it's, like, almost impossible to play around something here because if we allow the Teferi to resolve, we lose. Because we need to, they bounce our ex, our engineer explosives. So maybe what we, sh I don't know how we, how we play out that position. I mean, we just kind of lost to, I mean, we, we, we just lost to just like, we just got tempoed out so like over 10 turns. I mean, assuming they have a win here, but maybe they don't. What are they doing? Destroying our E, which feels irrelevant at this point. Feels very much irrelevant at this point. They have an Emrakul. Okay, so that's kind of good to know that they're on the Emrakul version. Can we beat an Emrakul? No. Definitely not. Eh. Do we have bolts? We have two bolts. We know an expressive iteration is on top, so I guess we can. If they if they just like their entire turn is just slam Emrakul on the table, we can't beat that. We can just expressive into both bolts. They're they're out. Okay, if they would have just dealt two to us twice, we would have lost. So that's kind of interesting. Because. We know they have another Ren. Okay, that Ren's been in there this entire game. Okay. Are we dead here? Do you have another Prismari command? Yikes. Wow. That was a very rough game. <laughs> that was such a rough game. Ugh. I feel like this is definitely a good matchup. The problem was we just kind of got completely tempoed out there. Well, I mean, the deck overall seemed pretty good. Like, even that game, I felt pretty, yeah, <laughs> good old 4-1. Oh, so sad.
So sad. I mean, what would I change out of this deck? I mean, the dress downs really didn't come in ever. So I don't really, I can't really like express my opinion on that yet. Like it, it was, it was like important like once or twice. Um, I think things out of the sideboard I would change. I think I would just shove this on a holy heat into the main deck. Um, maybe, maybe just put this dress down in the main deck. Cut like just run three dress downs overall or something. Um. Not sure what else you'd want to cut. Maybe a bolt. Like I could honestly, or even just like cutting a heat and just like having two terminates and a drown on the sideboard as like your removal spell package. And then I'd add another soul guide lantern and another EE. -E. Cause I'm, I'm a big fan of having at least three uh, graveyard hate pieces. And then also three EEs has just been like feeling insanely good for me recently. Um, I don't really like the unearth. I mean, I'm not going to say it's bad. I draw it. I just feel like it's kind of awkward. Um, I think I'd either, rather another counter spell or just like something other than that. I don't know. Maybe like a snap cat. I, I, I just don't know. I don't know what I would change with this unearth. I just don't think unearth's necessarily like, I don't think it's necessarily bad, but like, it's not like this deck's running any three drops other than Luris. So like, you're not getting that like value play, right? You're not getting... Like, I, I just don't know where you want this unearth. Um, like, you're never getting a mana advantage. Like, the best thing you can get back is a Croxa, and that's just like, really? Like, are you really unearthing a Croxa? I don't know. Feels weird. Feels weird to have an unearth. I'd cut that probably for, like, another Flusterstorm or, like, even just, like, strictly Counterspell, although I don't think Double Blue is reasonable. So, um, definitely interesting. I don't know. Maybe you could play the fourth dress down on the sideboard still and just like cut this on earth and add one one. So I think that's pretty good.